so the horse can be a very, very powerful tool for therapy. Joanne Benjamin, a ride-on therapist, says the horse does two important things for improving the mobility of young children, especially those with chronic disabilities. We might have a patient who is learning how to walk, and so we're going to put them on a horse where they're going to work on their balance and their coordination and their core strength and their rhythm and timing. and. Um, we're using that horse's movement to improve those skills so that they walk better at home or at school. Ride On Therapeutic Riding, located in Chatsworth, California, works with children starting at the age of two in two programs called Therapeutic Riding as well as Hippotherapy. You really can't do therapy without using some of the basic riding skills but our focus is not on teaching riding on the other hand you can't really teach riding without improving balance or coordination or strength but the focus on those riding lessons is actually teaching somebody a recreational sport mm -hmm. parents of the children in the hippotherapy program say they have seen improvements in their children in as little as one month of their lessons. Annabelle was not walking when she initially started hemotherapy and um, walked about a month after she started. So, um, uh, you know, she's been doing it once a week since she was two and a half. Um, whether it was cause and effect or coincidence, we definitely saw value in her being on the horse. She likes it. And we've noticed probably in the last four weeks since she's been coming here, she probably has 10 more words. Um, her uh, language reception is up probably by one or two months, just in the one month since being here, and it's just amazing progress we've seen. The horses that are used for therapy work are typically no younger than seven years old. Benjamin says most of the time, horses that are referred to the program have to be retrained to listen to the person on the ground rather than the person on their back. We find that probably one out of 10 horses that are referred to us are actually really able to do this job. Um, they need to be very comfortable with people. They need to want to please. Um, they need to be able to trust the people that they're around. And they also need to be intelligent enough to listen to the handlers um, and also listen to the patients because the patients send signals to them and they need to be able to pick up on that. Benjamin says the horses that are used as therapy animals really love their work and for her it's amazing to see the connection between the patient and the horse. To see an animal be able to really get in tune with a patient and give them everything that they can and make those patients shine, there's just no more rewarding feeling. There's no words exchanged and you just see it in their behavior and their um, acceptance of what their job is. For more information about therapeutic writing and hippotherapy, visit writeon.org.